I'm Kay. I'm Jim, and this is Burst Review. Today we're taking a look at the Rifleman's Rifle, the Winchester Model 70 Featherweight, chambered in 30-06. After a two-year hiatus from its 70-year-long production string, Winchester finally brought back the old workhorse. While not fielded by our military in substantial numbers, the Model 70 was the weapon of choice for famed Marine Corps sniper Carlos Hathcock. If it's good enough for Gunnery Sergeant Hathcock, I'm sure it's more than adequate for bagging some whitetail. The Model 70 Featherweight was an excellent shooter, notably accurate and effortless to carry in the field, but I did find it a little challenging to keep my sight picture and rack the bolt at the same time. I could see that. While the Model 70 is no longer a controlled feed firearm, the action can be a little tough for people who lack upper body strength, especially the Featherweight model with its stout recoil. Or maybe it just takes some getting used to. Who knows? But here's a little history for you. The Model 70 originally used a control speed system, then a push speed system, and it wasn't until 1992 that Winchester decided to incorporate both major schools of thought on the Mauser action. The result? The controlled round push speed system. Wait, I thought the controlled feed system prevented single loading a rifle by design. So how could it be both? Basically, the designers at Winchester made the bolt face flush on the bottom so that when loading from a magazine, the rifle still feeds like it's controlled. But if you were to toss a loose round into the action and close the bolt, the Model 70's extractor will hop the rim of the cartridge upon entering battery. But enough with the technical details. How are you going to rate it? I really liked it. Sure, the gun has some serious recoil, but, but really, that's to be expected in a featherweight bolt gun in a venerable 30-06. The action was smooth, the extraction positive, and the furniture handsome. I'm going to have to give it a perfect score. Five stars. I agree completely. Five stars from me too. The recoil and my lack of upper body strength, as you call it, made follow-up shots difficult, but it is a hunting rifle designed to be carried all day and shot sparingly, so one shot, one kill, right? That's right. The Winchester Model 70 sets the standard for reintroducing classic product lines with subtle but important modern upgrades. Also, quick shout out to Salute Products and their remarkably durable steel targets. They've really taken a beating.